Hey, 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 beautiful people. Welcome to Keon Day's Music Review. I'm your host, Keon Day, and as always, I'm excited to share this time with you. Today, I am back with 10 more of my all-time favorite albums. So if you enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button. All right, so let's jump into it. I have everything that I need. I have my delicious sweet tea. Yes, it's back. I have some wonderful music playing, and most importantly, I have you beautiful people to share this time with. So let's jump right into it. So, 10 more of my all-time favorite albums. I share these videos because I want to introduce you to some albums or reintroduce you to others, and we can all be in on the party together. So I randomly pick 10 that I have loved for a long time, and I offer them to you. So let's jump right into the very first one. The first one is from vocalist and actress Miss Jennifer Hudson and her third solo album called J Hud. Let me show it to you. Yes, you guys remember this? This was released in 2014 on the RCA Records and I call it her most focused album. She sounded so committed to these songs and so committed to this style and it perfectly fit her voice. There was a bit of disco, there was a bit of house music and it just all perfectly uh, melded together. She sounded so good on these tracks. It was a mix of dance and up tempos. Um, they had, there was one ballad in here but um, it was all dance and up tempo songs and it, it was just wonderful. I was so proud of her on this album. And the lead single was a song called It's Your World, which is still still one of my jams. Other songs such as He Ain't Going Nowhere, Dangerous, and uh, Bring Back the Music are all brilliant as well. But this album right here, J. Hud, she did this one. I was hoping you know, she would continue in this vein or just give a little hint of this music because, like I said, it was her most focused and she really, really delivered. Um, so if you haven't heard this album, go out and check it out and uh, tell me all about it. Let me show it to you one more time. J. Hud from Jennifer Hudson. Wonderful, wonderful project. All right, so next up, we have singer, songwriter, Mr. Gino Vanelli with his debut album, Crazy Life. Let me show it to you. Yes, yes, yes. This was released in 1973 on A&M Records. It was a mixture of jazz, rock, pop, and fusion, all beautifully woven together. And it's a amazing, it's an amazing album. It has the song, songs Crazy Life, which I love, um, Hollywood Holiday, amazing, and Sherazar, which is just absolutely beautiful. The album, um, I'm not sure how well it did, but it wasn't as big as his later projects, but uh, I go back to this one. I adore this album. It's a short album, very short. It runs quickly, maybe, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes or so. Um, and he sounds great. The compositions are wonderful. Musicianship is awesome and just a great moment. So, Gino Vanelli, Crazy Life. Yes, indeed. All right, we are moving on to the next one, which is rapper and actor Red Man with his album Docs the Name 2000. Let me show you this right here. <laughs> yes indeed. This was his fourth album. It was released in 1998 on the Def Jam Music Group. Um, this was actually the album that really got me into Red Man. Um, I'd heard some of his earlier recordings but this is the one that really caught my attention and held my attention. Um, from the first single, which was I'll Be That. I, I know you guys know that, uh, one of his biggest hits. But that song just, just stuck with me and I'm like, okay, let me let me get into Red Man a little bit more. And when I heard the album, I was, I was stuck. Um, the songs Jersey Yo and Let the Monkey Out just, uh, <laughs> just did it for me. I mean, throughout this whole project, I love his timing, I love his tone, and I love his sense of humor and just how he put together put together these songs and I've been a Red Man fan since. But this was the album that that initially really caught my attention. So Docs the Name 2000. This is the one. This is it right here. Check it out. All right. Here we go. Next up, vocalist Miss Melissa Morgan and her album Good Love. Here we go. Yes, you guys remember this? 
Yes, this was her second solo album. It was released in 1970, excuse me, 1987 on Capitol Records. It has the singles, If You Can Do It, I Can Do It Too. You remember that song? Um, and it also had a remake of Mother, the Mother's Finest classic, Love Changes, which was a duet with Kashif. They did an amazing, amazing job on that song. But other songs on the album which were just as amazing were uh, Good Love, a typical song, Good Love, I'll Love You No More, and quite possibly my favorite Melissa Morgan song, which is a beautiful ballad called Just For Your Touch. That song does it for me every time. It, it just goes in there, pushes that button, and hits that special, special spot in me, Just For Your Touch. But, um, this is, I was just listening to this album the other day, um, just like in my zone and listening to the beauty of her voice and uh, the wonderful songs and uh, just takes me back, takes me back, but still very present. So Melissa Morgan, good love. Yes, indeed. All right. So next up, we have pianist Mr. Rodney Franklin with his album, You'll Never Know. Show it to you. Yes, I love Rodney Franklin. Um, I can't remember what the first album I heard uh, was by him, but um, I remember immediately being drawn to his sound. His, uh, his keyboard skills and piano skills are amazing. He's so sincere and warm and bright at the same time. But this album right here, you'll never know, is his second album. It was released in 1980 on Columbia Records. It's a mixture of jazz, soul, and funk. Um, he was uh, never a straightforward jazz artist. There was a mixture going on of what he offered, and it perfectly, perfectly worked for him. The songs on here were The Groove, which was a signature song for him, um, God Bless the Blues, and the contemporary Christian vocal ballad, You'll Never Know, which was the title track. All, all of these songs conspired to make, a, make an incredible album. So, Rodney Franklin, You'll Never Know. Check it out. Yes, indeed. All right, so next up we have gospel music icon vocalist Miss Vanessa Bell Armstrong and her album Chosen. Here we go. Y'all know this one? Gospel folks out there, y'all know this? Chosen. Yes, this was her second album. It was released in 1984 on Onyx International Records. It had the songs he Here's a Brighter Day, which I love that, um, Nobody But Jesus. Teach Me, O Lord, and her rendition of Walk With Me. She sounded so good on this album. The anointing was there, and uh, the arrangements were wonderful. And I love this project. It's still my favorite um, album from her. She recorded some great music in her career, but this one stands out for me. So, Vanessa Bell Armstrong and Chosen. Yes, indeed. All right. Yes. The song right here. I'll get to it later. There it is. All right, so next up, we have vocalist Chuck Stanley and his album, The Finer Things in Life. Let me show this. You guys remember this album? Some of you might remember this one. Um, this was the only album recorded by Chuck Stanley, which was unfortunate because he was such a major, major talent. He had this incredible voice, um, such conviction, Beautiful falsetto, just amazing. I was so looking forward to hearing more from him, but this turned out to be his only recording. Um, it was released in 1987 on Def Jam Recordings. I um, had the single Day by Day, which was um, a remake um, of a song by an obscure group called Continental Four. Um, but his falsetto just lent itself so well to the single. Um, and he just blew it, absolutely blew it out. And I love it. So look that up, Day by Day by Chuck Stanley. Beautiful, beautiful song. Um, other songs on here which stood out were My All in All, When It All Falls Down, God, I love that song, and uh, Real Soon. But um, like I said, I was hoping to hear more from him because this album was so amazing. It was um, had a slight hip hop um, influence with the harder, harder beats, with R&B melodies, and the, his falsetto voice. It was just really spot on, and I, I loved him. I wonder what he's doing these days, but this is his only album, The Finer Things in Life. This was a fine album. All right. So next up, we have legendary vocal maestro, Mr. Al Jarreau and his album, Tenderness. Yes. 
Yes, indeed. Tenderness right here. Um, this was a live album that was released in 1994 on Warner Electra Atlantic. It was released on CD as well as an accompanying uh, VHS tape of the live concert. And um, there was nothing like Algero live because he was so spontaneous and so in the moment and he didn't know what he was going to do vocally, but it was always magic. And he delivered the magic on this particular recording. Um, he had, did renditions of Try a Little Tenderness, love it. Uh, Mashke Nada, which is my favorite version of that song now. Um, Summertime, which featured uh, vocalist Kathleen Battle and his rendition of My Favorite Things. Yeah, he's had several live albums in his career, but this one is definitely, um, definitely amazing. Um, so, if you don't know it, go out and get it and get to know it. Al Jarreau, Tenderness. Yes, indeed. All right, so we are down to just two albums. And the next one is from My Girls. Um, it is the fourth album by the four sisters from Philly, Sister Sledge, and their album, Love Somebody Today. Let me show you this. Yes, I know you guys have seen this cover before. Yes, Love Somebody Today from Sister Sledge. It was released in 1980 on Cotillion Records. It was the follow-up to their multi-platinum album, We Are Family. Um, and it had the singles, Got to Love Somebody, which was top 10, um, the fan favorite, Reach Your Peak, and the jazzy Let's Go On Vacation. But my all-time favorite song on this particular album was the one I was grooving to just a minute ago. It's just called I'm A Good Girl, a beautiful, simple ballad, which is led by Sister Joni, beloved Joni. Um, it just um, does everything for me. I'm a good girl. But the album itself, this used to be the album that I would um, you know, wake up in the morning and get dressed to. It was I did that for years um, with this album, and it still you know, hits home for me. So, love somebody today. Sister Sledge. Yes, indeed. All right. So, we are up to our very last album. That time went by quickly. And it is from legendary soul man himself, my main man, Mr. Al Green with Lay It Down. Yes, indeed. Let me show you this. Yes. Lay It Down. This was released in 2008 on Blue Note Records. It is, it is his last recording to date, and um, it won two Grammy Awards, and it featured uh, appearances by Anthony Hamilton, John Legend, and Corinne Bailey Ray. It was produced by Questlove and uh, James Poyser in an attempt to recreate Al Green's classic sound, and they definitely hit the mark with Lay It Down. Um, he sounded so good. He sounded... Um, so much like the Al Green that we initially fell in love with, and they they really did it. They really did it on this album. They had the singles Lay It Down, which he was killing it. Um, it was pure, pure Al Green, as well as You Got the Love I Need, um, Stay With Me By the Sea, and Take Your Time, which all featured the aforementioned guest artist. Um, but the album as a whole was just, it was just Al Green. It was what you would expect from Al Green. It was, it was, um, bringing his classic sound to a contemporary audience and they did it in such a respectful um intentional way and i uh, i'm sure they were all pleased and again it did very well for him again won two grammy awards and um just a great great moment um so i love you mr green thank you for this album and uh thank you for the many many years of musical magic all right so that's what i have let me show you one, one more time there it is. All right, so that's what I have. Ten more of my all-time favorite albums. Again, hopefully this introduced you to some and reintroduced you to others. And let's talk about them in the comments. Yes, talk about some that you love. Um, let's have this conversation, all right? So, that's it. That's it. So, again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And, um... You guys continue to carry on. I'm going to have more of my sweet tea, jam to some more music, and have myself a good old time. But I want you guys to remember that when you come to this channel, it's all about music. It's all about love. So until we meet again, which will be really soon, you guys take care of yourselves and take care of each other. You guys be easy, be safe. Peace. <laughs>